Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft Warhammer 40k vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Valkyra. The Valkyra is a vertical takeoff and landing VTOL airborne assault carrier pr used primarily by the Astra Militarium as both a ground support gunship and a transport for airborne combat regiments like the Tempest Skyon squads and the Elysian uh, drop troops. Despite serving the tactical needs of the Imperial Guard, a Valkyra and its clue crew are usually composed of pilots and an armsmen drawn from the Imperial Navy's uh, Aeronautica Imperials and are provided to the guard on an uh, as-needed basis. Uh, the Valkyrie assault carrier is a maneuverable, well-armed twin-engine attack craft. The durable armor and versatile payload the Valkyrie chassis combined with the aircraft's powerful engines and stable handling make it a popular choice for a broad spectrum of battlefield roles. These attack craft are used atmospherically, sealed uh, cockpits, and army capsule or uh, combustible uh, Promethean uh, in their vector turbojets, allowing them to be deployed against enemy flyers in the upper atmosphere and against ground forces on even the most hostile worlds. So uh, definitely a very interesting uh, aircraft for sure. I've never played Warhammer 40k or anything like that or got into any of its lore or anything like that. So this uh, vehicle in action is kind of like a you know mystery me, but it does seem to be a really interesting VTOL aircraft. And for you guys that uh, do like Warhammer, then uh, you'll probably definitely um, appreciate this build. Um, if not, it's definitely an interesting build to put into any kind of uh, maybe, you know, kind of modern military type uh, esque uh, type of scenarios or something like that. Um, you can definitely apply it to a variety of different situations for sure. Um, so, overall, really interesting build. Um, really uh, cool and all that stuff. And this was a uh, build for one of my good buddies. So, hopefully, he enjoys the build as well, which I think you'll read from the pictures, he does enjoy it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, overall, it's pretty uh, straightforward. I, I say straightforward, but it's got a lot of detail jam-packed in it. Um, so it's got the obviously the front cockpits here. Uh, so there's a, pro there's a pilot and I would imagine maybe like an <clears throat> arms um, or uh, basically a pump nerve second pilot, co-pilot that's in charge of the armaments. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that one, but uh, something like that. Uh, we got these big Gatling guns uh, located here on both sides of the cockpit. So this is kind of like more of the gunship version. There's some that don't have it, some that do. So I decided to throw it on because more guns, more better, right? Um, anyways, going ahead and going to the wings, we have the missile pods here, uh, followed by the different landing gear. So it's got very interesting landing gear. It doesn't fold up or anything like that. It's just got the, these like clamps that kind of go down into the ground. Um, and you can see we have the clamps here also um, in this section there. So. Uh, pretty cool overall. Um, moving up, we have our big engines here. So our jet engines, um, pretty highly detailed. Again, nice detailing and stuff like that around them and everything like that. And then we have our uh, tail here, which is definitely a very unique tail. Kind of reminds me of like a P-38 or something of that sort. Um, overall, pretty cool tail. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the build. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty uh, you know interesting one, something a little bit different uh, on the channel for sure. And hopefully you guys um, definitely enjoy it. We have done a few Warhammer builds before, so... Uh, definitely this would go into, uh, you know, a little uh, scene with them quite well. So, anyways, that's going to do it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, moving into our first layer, we're actually starting off with layer number two. It's easier for us to start off with layer number two. We get a little bit more uh, of the structure built and a little bit better of a nice basis to go ahead and build off of uh, for our uh, layers and stuff like that. So we're going to start with layer two and then work our way down to layer one once we have layer two complete. If you're completely new to the way I like to structure my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to do these are uh, half on camera, half off. What this means is that uh, we'll be building half of the aircraft off camera and then the air half on camera and then it'll be up to you guys in between layers to go ahead and copy uh, what we do over to the other side. It's pretty straightforward and once we kind of do a few of the uh, layers and stuff like that, it'll make a little bit more sense um, as we go on. So to go ahead and get started with, um, for the most part the aircraft is pretty symmetrical except for the front section here which I'm going to talk about here in a second. Uh, but also, if you do want to build this thing landed, we will, we will be doing the landed version, which is a very simple modification of uh, basically what we have here, um, or the in-flight version. So if you want to have this thing uh, landed, we're going to want to make sure that this layer right here is exactly one block from the ground. Um, so it's pretty close if you are having it landed. If you want to have it in flight, obviously, um, just note you just that this is not the lowest point. So uh, pretty straightforward there. Um, and again, one block from the from the ground like this. Anyways, to start off with, we're going to place down a polished anesthetic block like this, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall coming off of it toward the front. We're going to go, and go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame, and we're also going to need a light gray, or a light blue um, stained glass pane. 
We're gonna go ahead and place down a item frame, cut off that mossy cobblestone wall, and a light gray or a light blue stained glass pane like that for the front here. Going back from this polished anti block, we're gonna place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six uh, green or uh, green concrete blocks, followed by a dark oak wood up downstairs and a dark oak wood top slab. With that done, going back up to this front section here, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood uh, upside down stair like this. And then going back from it, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six regular stairs. So this first stair here is a corner stair, and then we have six regular stairs back. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a corner stair in between these two dark oak wood stairs, and then a dark oak wood top set uh, in the corner there. So you should have something that looks like this on this side, and you're going to go ahead and copy the same thing over to the other side. What part we get into that's a little bit different here is the addition of a gun over here to the side. So real simple, we're going to need a stone brick top slab, signs, and rod, and a wither skeleton skull. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab on the dark oak wood upside down corner stair over here on the right side of the aircraft, followed by one sign on the side. We then want to go ahead and skip a space, place down a wither skeleton skull, delete that block, and then place down an end rod in its place like this so you have the front gun uh, just like that. Again, this is only on the right side, and uh, the left side is just going to stay as is. Moving back from this, uh, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and skip a total of uh, we want to go and skip back a total of one, two, and we're going to go to our third block, place down a dark oak wood fence gate, and we're going to have the fence gate opened up toward this dark oak wood top slab with a wooden sign on the side of this fence gate. We then want to place down a dark oak wood top slab to the side of the fence gate, and then going ahead and going back from the top slab here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate. Uh, on the side here, coming off this top slab, and again open it out to the side there, and then we're going to place down a wooden sign on the side of that fence gate. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down another dark oak wood top slab, coming off this fence gate, and again in this middle space here, that's going to go ahead and be in between these two dark oak wood top slabs, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate again, and have it opened up toward the back. From this point here, we're going to place down a stone brick up down stair, coming off this fence gate, followed by a cobblestone wall behind the stair, and a second cobble or a second stone brick up down stair on the other side like that. And then the side of the stair and uh, or the stairs and the cobblestone wall, we're going to be placing down a row of three of stone brick slabs. With uh, that all finished there, uh, we want to go and then uh, grab ourselves some placeholder blocks, and we're going to need to count on to the side here to go ahead and get our uh, our uh, landing gear that's on the wings set up as well. So for this, we're going to go ahead and go to this dark oak with top slab here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks out to the side. And actually, uh, we're going to go and go 12. And we're going to go and do the same thing over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick uh, slab like this. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a cobblestone wall. And we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on both sides of this stone brick top slab. We can then go into our creative menu, grab ourselves a iron trap door, and coming off the cobblestone walls here to both sides, we're going to be placing down a iron trap door just like that. So you get something that looks like this so far for the landing gear. With that done, we're going to go and then grab ourselves some uh, nether brick uh, stairs, and we're going to be placing down two upside down nether brick stairs coming off the iron trap doors, just like that. With that done, we can go and delete this row of wool across here, and all the way to this side as well. So just completely delete it, and uh, you'll have uh, basically your bases set up here for the landing gear on both sides. And uh, make sure, obviously, well, everything we did on the right side here is copied over to the left side, and you'll get something that looks just like this for the Slayer. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up layer number uh, one, or sorry, layer number two. With that, let's move down to layer number one. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number one. For layer one to get started here, we're going to be going ahead and going to the base here. We want to go ahead and go back to this second regular stone brick, or dark oak wood up sound stair, and place down a stone brick top slab under it. We then want to place down an additional one, two, and three stone brick top slabs back, and same thing over here, one, two, three, and there's going to be a row of four in total. We then want to go ahead and go to the last three stone brick top slabs, and in between them we're going to be placing down iron trap doors like that to fill in the space in between them. And you'll see here that this is basically a block and a half space from the ground if you're building this on the ground, so it's very close um, to the ground and everything like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go to the wings to the sides here. We're going to take our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of three of stone brick stairs underneath these iron trap doors. So uh, like this and underneath this empty space right here like that. So a row across there like that. And we then want to go ahead and uh, take some item frames. And we're going to place down item frames coming off these uh, cobblestone walls like this on both sides like that. And uh, once you have that done there uh, that I know that was from the previous layer but I forgot to do that we're gonna go ahead and do the same design and do it over here to this side so a row of three of stone brick ups downstairs 
on both sides here. So just like this, and then our iron trap doors. One, two, three. And uh, also again, don't forget your item frames. If all uh, polished and set blocking it on these cobblestone walls for a bit of detail like that. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer one. Let's move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to start off with, we're going to place down a dark oak with upstairs stair on top of this mossy cobbled wall here for the front. Going back from that dark oak with upstairs stair, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, green uh, concrete blocks back, followed by three mossy cobblestone walls, three green concrete blocks back, and a dark oak with top slab. With that all wrapped up there, uh, we can go ahead and then uh, go back up to the front here and work our way out to the side. Next to this dark oak with upstairs stair, we're going to place down a second stair uh, to the side, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven. 12 green, ter or green concrete blocks back, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall, and then a row of 1, 2, 3, and 4 green terracotta blocks back with a dark oak with top step on the end there like that. For our next row out to the side here, we're going to go ahead and begin with taking stone buttons. We're going to go to the second uh, from front green terracotta block. We're going to go ahead and skip a space of 3 and then place down another stone button, or uh, sorry, it's going to be a space of 2, my bad, and an air stone button like this on the side here. We then want to go ahead and skip uh, basically an air space of three, and then right here, this section, we're going to be placing down a dark oak with upside down stair like this, coming off this green concrete block. And just to get you a count, this is your uh, ninth green concrete block back in this row of uh, 12. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then take our green concrete, place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks back, followed by a dark oak with top slab on the end here. Uh, with that done, going ahead and moving into our next uh, row out to the side. We're going to place down a dark oak with top slab, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 green terracotta blocks back. Uh, from this point here, we're going to go ahead and then uh, place down a dark oak with upside down stair, come off this green concrete block, so just like this. And behind the stair, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 dark oak with upside down stairs, so this stair right here turns into a corner stair. And then you have 6 upside down stairs right behind it, and followed by a dark oak with top slab, like that on the end. And basically you should get something that looks like this uh, for the base here once you have the left side copied over. From this point here, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, move into our wings and also the hard points of our wings. So for this, real simply, we're going to go ahead and, go ahead and start off by going from this dark oak with upside down corner stair. We're going to go ahead and count three blocks out to the side, so uh, one, two, and three. Now from this point here, we're going to be placing down a dark oak with upside down stair, followed by a concrete block behind it, and another dark oak with upside down stair on the other side like this. This row right here is going to go back four more. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four. So this whole section here, uh, you have five ups and down stairs, five green concrete blocks, and five ups and down stairs. Uh, for the front here, uh, we're going to be placing down a wither skeleton skull. Come off this green concrete block. And on the back here, we're going to place down a item frame. And in that item frame, we want to place down a black wool block like this for the... Uh, rocket pods here on uh, both sides. When that's all finished there, we can go and delete these placeholder blocks as we do not need them anymore. And we can go ahead and now focus our attention to this section here. So for this section, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start to dive into the land gear connecting and part of the wing here. So for us to get started here, the best thing to do is to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of these two uh, narrow brick stairs just like this. Once that's done, going back from those, uh, ner uh, going back from those mossy cobblestone walls, we're gonna place down a green uh, concrete block on both sides and it's based in between in between the concrete blocks and replace a dark oak with stair and then one stair to both sides like so with that done we're going to then place down a row of three of green concrete going back like this on top of those cobblestone walls there and then we're going to place down a row of three of levers like that flicked upwards like so um, and that'll be obviously the same thing on both sides there and once you have the, obviously what we did over here on the right side uh, copied over to the left side you'll have something that looks just like this to go ahead and wrap up uh, this layer and with that we can go and move into our next layer layer number four all right guys moving into our next layer we have layer uh number four for layer four to begin with we're going to be going ahead and placing down a uh, green shulker box like this that's going to be on top of the dark oak with upside down stair here going back from the shulker box we're going to place down a row of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen green uh, concrete blocks back, followed by a dark oak with top set on the end here. 
going ahead and go into the sides now we're going to place down a green uh, concrete block to both sides here and then stone buttons around the sides of the block after that we're going to place down a green shulker box like this back followed by another green concrete block with a stone button on the side of it we then want to place down a row of one two and three green concrete blocks back and again a stone button on the side here of this third one back for this point here we're just going to take our green concrete blocks and go back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen so in total we should have a long row of green concrete here of 18 blocks long and um, we have this one up here so 18 blocks back from this green shulker box there our next row to the side we're going to be placing down a stone brick top side that's going to come off this green concrete block right after the stone button here we're then going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair after it and then or sorry dark oak wood upside down stair facing this direction and then a second upside down stair after it like so we're then going to take our green concrete and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 back. And again, on the back here, we're going to have two or dark roof top steps come off these green concrete blocks. Our next row out to the side, we're going to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall come off this green concrete block to the side. We then want to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 green concrete blocks back, followed by a dark oak with top slab. Again, out to the side here, come off this first green concrete block. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine green concrete blocks back in a dark oak with top set. Um, and actually, uh, with this section here, we actually want to go ahead and place down a dark oak with upstairs there for this last green concrete block. So it's going to be something like that on the back there. So my mistake there, just going for that on. Uh, with that done, we're going to go, go ahead and move into our missile pod. So our missile pod here, we're just going to place down uh, five ro or basically three rows of five on top of the stairs and on top of the concrete blocks like this to fill that space in. We want to go ahead and go to the back here, place down a row of three item frames. And in those item frames, we're going to be placing down black wool blocks. And up here in the front, we're just going to place down a row of three wither skeleton skulls come off those three green concrete blocks. On the middle, three concrete blocks to the sides here to place down mossy cobblestone walls. So it's going to be the same thing here on both sides like that. And that's going to do it there for the missile pod for this layer. Uh, moving out to the wings here. Uh, the wings, we continue to have some, uh, you know, progress in making the, and having them go up. So we're going to go ahead and go to the green or green concrete blocks, place down a dark oak slab on top of the, both of them like this, followed by a green concrete block back from those slabs. We then want to take a dark oak slab, place them down to uh, basically both sides here of those green concrete blocks. And then directly behind those green concrete blocks, we're going to place down a row of three, basically on top of the row of three of le levers right here. And we're going to have a row of three levers coming off those green concrete block blocks on the back here, just like this for your wing. And you're going to have the same thing, obviously, over here on this side as well. And you'll basically start to get both of your, uh, both your wings and stuff like that starting to get developed and starting to come together. Uh, with that, that's going to do it there for layer number four. Uh, was that four? Uh, I believe that was four. Yeah, layer number four. And with that, we're going to go and move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer number five. For layer five, uh, to begin with, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab that's going to be on top of this first green concrete block back from this green shulker box from the previous layer. Going back from this, we're going to place down two green concrete blocks. If you do want to do an interior for the cockpit section, you can go ahead and have a space of what is going to be uh, let me just double check here. Six blocks, so you can have a row, a space of six blocks left open. I'm just going to use black wool and fill it in here, uh, just to kind of, you know, fill it in as I won't be doing an interior for the cockpit. But if you do want to, you can leave that space open. Anyways, from this section here, we're then going to go, gonna go ahead and go back a row of 12 of green concrete blocks, so it overhangs past this dark oak with top slab by one. And then we want to place down a dark oak with top slab coming off this green concrete block. With that done, going back up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak with slab to the side of this slab here. Uh, over here on the left side, uh, just for reference, there's going to be an item frame with a black wool block in it and a wooden side on this dark oak wood slab, and it's only going to be on the left side. So just take that into account when you're building this thing that uh, you want to put that on the left side. With that done, we're going to then place down a dark oak wood stair back from the slab, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Green concrete blocks back, followed by a dark oak with top slab on the end here. Our next row out to the side, we're going to place down a nether brick top slab coming off the second uh, green concrete block back, followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off this dark oak or this nether brick top slab. From this point here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, and on the side of the stone brick top slab, we're going to place down a wooden sign. 
We then want to grab ourselves a polished neonite block, and we're going to place down a polished neonite block going back from the stone brick top slab. With that finished, we're going to take our green concrete, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Green concrete blocks back and a dark oak with top slab on the end here. Uh, for our, our next route, we actually want to go ahead and place down a sign also on this polished neonite block. And then going back to this point here, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this one right here. Going back from this mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, and three. Green concrete blocks back, followed by a light gray stained glass uh, block. And then another row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Green concrete blocks back, followed by a dark group of tops on the end here. Our next row to the side, we're going to place down a uh, zombie head that is going to... Uh, actually, sorry, my bad. To begin with, we're going to place down a green concrete block on top of this one, followed by a zombie head coming off of it. Uh, like this above the, the uh, mossy cobblestone wall here. Going back to the screen concrete block, we're gonna go ahead and go one uh, more block back. So you have row two here, dark oak with slab, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven green concrete blocks back, followed by a dark oak with up sound stair and dark oak with top slab coming off that stair. Uh, once you have that done, uh, we want to go ahead and also grab ourselves some stone buns and something I forgot to do in the previous layer was to place down one and two stone buns and same thing over here, one and two. So you're going to add a stone button from the previous layer and then this layer we have stone buns like that right on top of it, like that for the outline of what the door would be for the side. With that done, we're going to go ahead and move into our missile pods to the sides here. So for this, uh, we're going to go and place down a row of five of dark liquid stairs on top of the outer green uh, row, row of five of green concrete. So just like we did before, in the space in between the stairs, we're going to place down a row of five of green concrete as well. Off the front here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. And on the back here, we're going to be placing down a uh, item frame. Uh, just like this. Come off this green concrete block. And in the in the item frame, we're going to place down a black wool block like that. After that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, dark oak wood slab. That is going to go on top of these... Uh, that's going to go... Actually, one thing I forgot to do in the previous layer was actually we want to go and place down a dark oak with top side to both sides of this row of three of green concrete. So make sure you throw that on, and then we're going to go and place down a green carpet now on top of those top slabs. Uh, from that going back there, we're going to go and then place down a dark oak with slab on top of these two green concrete con green concrete blocks. Going back from the uh, the slabs, uh, the uh, slabs and um, uh, carpet, we're going to place down a dark oak with stair like this, followed by one. Let's see, one, two, three, oops, uh, four, five, and we want to go ahead and go one more stair out to the side to go ahead and make it six. So it's going to stick one past uh, the rear here, so it's going to stick out like this, go back, and it's going to be perfectly in line with the front there. Um, and once you have that all finished there, that'll do it there for your uh, missile pods on both sides. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. All right, guys, we've moved into our next layer. We have layer number six. For layer 6 to start off with, we're going to be placing down a nether brick stair on top of the second green concrete block after this sub from the previous layer. Going back from the stair, we're going to be placing down a row of what is going to be uh, 6 gray uh, full glass blocks like this going back from the stair. When that's done, we're going to take our green concrete and we're going to be placing down a long row of green concrete in total uh, 14 blocks back, followed by a dark oak with top slab, so it's sticking out one past the rear here like so. With that uh, all done, we're going to go back up to the front here, to both sides of the narrow brick stair here. We're going to place down a zombie head at a slight, or a uh, wither skeleton skull, at a slight angle, like this to the sides. Going back from this, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab, dark oak wood stair. And after those dark oak wood stairs, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Green concrete blocks back, and then a dark oak wood top slab on the end there. We're going to go ahead and then uh, go back to this section here. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this polished inside block, followed by a wooden sign on the side of it, and also a wither skeleton skull coming off the cobblestone wall from going forward. Back from the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a row of two of dark oak wood stairs. We then want to place down a green concrete block, followed by a, uh, a row of green concrete. So after the dark oak wood stair, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15 green concrete blocks back, followed by a dark oak wood top slab on the end there, like so. Uh, going back up here to the uh, this section here, we're gonna place down a mossy cobblestone wall right here on top of this one, and then coming off of it, uh, going forward, we're gonna place down a wooden trap door on the top portion of the cobblestone wall. 
Back from this uh, cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Green concrete blocks back and a dark oak with top slab. After that, we're going to place down there mossy cobblestone, or, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and place down there mossy cobblestone wall on top of this zombie head right here. And then we want to go ahead and take our green concrete, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Green concrete blocks back, dark oak with ups downstairs, and dark oak with top slab. With that done, uh, we want to go and then go to the sides here. We're going to place down a dark oak with ups downstairs, come off this cobblestone wall, and a wooden sign on the side of the stair, like so. Uh, from the stair here, we're going to go back with an additional 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Dark oak with ups downstairs. Uh, or actually, sorry, my bad. It's going to be two dark oak wood up downstairs back. So we the last three, and then one, two, and three dark oak wood top slab. So my bad. Just going to make that small change right there. Uh, with that done, uh, we're going to then place down a row of six of dark oak wood slabs. They're going to go up from the stairs here. So we're going to go up, place down a row of six of dark oak wood slabs across like so. And after that's done, we're going to then place down a row of six of dark oak with top slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the middle uh, three green concrete blocks here and place down three concrete blocks up from it like that to create our uh, connection here to the wings for our big missile pods on the wings here. And uh, with that all done, that is going to uh, wrap it up for layer number um, layer number six. And with that, we're going to go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number seven. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number uh, 6, or sorry, it's layer number 7. So for layer 7, starting off with, we're going to go ahead and go to the first uh, gray uh, glass block right here, after the narrow brick stair from the previous area to place down narrow brick stair on top of it, followed by a row of 1, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and go all the way to 5. So we're going to have a row of 5 here of gray stained glass, going back from this narrow brick stair. After that, we're going to place down a row of green concrete back, a row of 13, followed by a dark oak wood slab, and then a green carpet on the end there. Going back up to the front here, we're going to place down a light green stained paint on the side of this narrow brick stair, followed by one back to connect up to this uh, gray uh, glass block right here. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a dark oak wood slab, and then a another dark oak wood stair like so. After that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and double check here, so let me just double check I think I used the wrong panes we want to make sure that these are gray panes so there we go uh, so make sure these are gray panes here on the sides there once that's done uh, going back from the dark oak wood stair we're going to go ahead and take our green concrete go back 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 followed by dark oak wood stair or sorry dark oak wood slab and then a green carpet on the end here our next row out to the side we're going to be placing down a wooden trap door on top of this one right here, and then we want to place down a dark oak wood up down stair coming off of it. From this dark oak wood up down stair, we're going to go back with green concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Green concrete blocks back, followed by a dark oak wood slab, and then green carpet. Uh, going out to the side again, uh, right here, after the uh, cobble or after the wooden trap door here, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall. Going back from the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Concrete blocks back, dark oak wood slab on the end here, and then a green carpet like that. After that's done, out to the side here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upstairs stair, coming off this monster, or this cobblestone wall, followed by one forward, so it's in line with the wooden trap door here. We then want to place down an additional one uh, dark oak wood uh, stair back, so you have a row of three here, and then we're going to take our green uh, concrete and go back one and two green concrete blocks. From this point here, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue for green concrete. So we have 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Green concrete blocks, blocks back, a dark oak wood slab, and a green carpet like that. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here. Come off this third dark oak wood stair here on top of this dark oak wood up stair. We're going to place down a green concrete block. Followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, green concrete block blocks back from it, and then we're going to place down a row of one and two dark oak wood slabs back. Our next row to the side, we're going to place down uh, one and two dark oak wood slabs going back, a green concrete block, one and two dark oak wood slabs, a green concrete block, and then one, two, three, and four uh, dark oak wood slabs back from that green concrete block. Next row to the side, uh, very similar design, we're going to place down one, two dark oak wood slabs, 
a green concrete block, one and two dark oak wood slabs, green concrete block, and one, two, and three dark oak wood slabs back like that. Uh, with that done, next row out, we're gonna go ahead and place down a dark oak wood slab right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So a long row of eight going across there, like so. And our last row out to the side here, we're gonna go and do a row of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And with that done, we're gonna then take our green carpet and place it down on top of these dark oak wood top slabs there. And looking at from above, we should have some looks just like this for the wings. You're gonna have the same thing obviously over there on that side as well. From this point here also, we do have a little bit of the tail that we start to get into uh, that we wanna go and basically uh, build from. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and go to Think of the easiest way to get to this uh, we'll go ahead and start off by going ahead and go to our center row here so we have our center uh, dark oak wood or uh, green carpet here uh, center line of the fuselage we should have it should be it's in total it's a row nine so it's gonna be our fifth block here in the middle we're gonna go ahead and go back one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten blocks back so just like this from this green carpet here we then want to go and go out to the sides one two three four five and six blocks and then same thing over here one two three four five and six we're then going to place down a dark oak wood stair and right after it a spruce wood stair like this for our tail here we can go then go ahead and delete these blocks but we should have a row of 13 of space in between our dark oak wood stairs to both sides like this and our spruce wood stairs we can delete these place our blocks and again they're 10 blocks back from the um, middle part here, the very back here of the fuselage. Anyways, with that all done, that is going to complete layer number seven. With that, let's move on to layer number eight. All right, guys, so uh, before we go ahead and dive into layer uh, number eight, I want to go ahead and make one quick addition to layer seven. Uh, so, for these wooden signs here are on the side of these stairs, we actually want to place down an item frame and a red stained glass uh, block in those uh, item frames, like that, for a little bit of lights on the sides there of the fuselage. So, just go ahead and make sure you throw those on. A uh, really simple little thing, and we're good to go and continue on. Now, uh, going ahead and continuing on to our next layer, layer 8. We're going to go ahead and, go ahead and start off by placing down a nether brick stair on our second uh, gray stained glass block back. We're going to go ahead and place down a nether brick stair on top of it, followed by one and two uh, gray stained glass blocks back from that stair. We then want to place down a row of uh, green, concrete black, uh, co green concrete blocks back, followed by basically it being a row of 11 back from this gray uh, stained glass block right there. And then uh, we're going to place down two dark oak wood slabs like this toward the end here. With that done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves gray stained glass. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three gray stain, uh, stained glass panes on the side of this uh, dark oak wood, or this narrow brick stair, and these two gray stained glass full blocks. We're then going to take our green concrete, go back one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks back, followed by two Kumasi cobblestone walls, and then two green concrete blocks back, and then two dark oak wood slabs back. Our next row out to the side here, we're going to go ahead and go on top of this dark oak wood stair here, place down a wooden trap door opened up like so, and then going back from the wooden trap door, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall like this. Back from the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six uh, green concrete blocks back. We're then going to take our uh, stone brick and place down one, two, three, and four stone brick blocks back, followed by one and two dark oak wood slabs. Our next row out to the side here, we're going to be placing down a polished anset block, come off this cobblestone wall followed by a cobblestone wall going forward, and then a skeleton skull from off this cobblestone wall. From this cobblestone, or the, from the polished anti block, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 green concrete blocks back. We're going to go ahead and skip a space, and then place down a wooden trap door, and delete this block right there. So we have something that looks like this on the back. And then our next row out to the side here, we're going to go and place down a wooden trap door on top of this dark oak wood stair here, open up toward the outside here like this. Going back from this uh, this uh, wooden trap door to place down a cobblestone wall, and also on the outside here, this this wooden trap door to place down a wooden trap door uh, again on the back and close it to make it a little bit of a thicker outside like that. Going back from this cobblestone wall, we're gonna place down a row of one and two polished anti blocks. We're then gonna take our green uh, concrete and go back one, two, three, and four blocks back. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone brick. Uh, blocks back and then a dark oak wood slab here on the end uh, with that done uh, we're gonna go ahead and work our way out to the side here so for the side uh, come off this green concrete block we're gonna place down a narrow brick top slab followed by a narrow brick slab that goes down like this and then we want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall that is going to basically go 
right here on this section here. So right after this cobblestone, or right after this green concrete block, and then it wouldn't set on the side of this uh, mossy cobblestone wall. Also, this uh, narrow brick slab is actually going to be a top slab as well. Uh, then on the inside here, we're going to grab ourselves dark cocoa slabs and place down a slab right here between this narrow brick top slab and mossy cobblestone wall, and then a dark cocoa slab back from the mossy cobblestone wall. We then want to take our green concrete. We're going to go ahead and go back for row of one, two, three, four, five, and six back, followed by a row of one, two, and three dark oak wood tops that was back. Once that's done, going back to this section here, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair uh, going up from this one at an angle like this, and we're going to place down a spruce wood upstairs stair right next to it, like this for the back tail there. With that all done, uh, that is going to pretty much wrap that up, and the last thing we need to do is grab some wooden trap doors and place them down on top of these green concrete blocks here on both sides like that. With that all done, that is going to wrap up layer number 8, and with that we can move into our next layer, layer number 9. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 9. For layer 9, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to grab ourselves some green concrete, and we're going to place down a green concrete block on top of this one right after the, the uh, gray stained glass full blocks. So up like this, we're going to go ahead and have a row in total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 green concrete blocks back, followed by a dark oak wood stair, two uh, daylight sensors, and then a rail like this on the very end there. Our next row to the side, we're going to go ahead and place down a green concrete block next to this one, followed by one and two blocks back. And also uh, on the front here, we're going to place down a stone bun like this. Save so a row of three here of green concrete. Uh, then we're going to place down two mossy cobblestone walls, followed by one and two dark oak wood stairs dark oak wood slab and then a uh, zombie head just like this on the mossy cobblestone wall and then one at a slight angle like this followed by a stone bun like that. After that's done going back up to the front here we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this wooden trap door. Going back from this dark oak wood stair we're going to place down a second dark oak wood stair back. We then want to place down a row of two of stone brick slabs followed by a row of one two three and four dark oak wood stairs back where they want we then want to place down a spruce wood stair after the spruce wood stair we're going to place down a row of one two and three of iron bars back followed by a row of one and two mossy cobblestone walls we then want to place down a end rod like this back and then we're going to place down a wooden trap door that's going to basically be uh, like this on the side here with that done, we're going to go ahead and go to our middle row, and for our middle row, we're going to place down a wooden trap door, come off the back of this uh, dark oak wood stair, followed by a cobblestone wall behind it. We then want to place down a row of two of polished andesite, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four green concrete blocks back. We then want to place down a spruce wood plank, followed by a row of one, two, and three cobblestone walls, one and two green concrete blocks, a stone brick block. And uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, wooden trap door here, out to the side here like we did before. So just like that. And I think I said cobblestone walls right here, make sure there's stone brick blocks. I don't know if I said that or not, but uh, something to tell me I probably messed that up. So uh, that's correct there, but uh, make sure that you don't put cobblestone walls like I may have said to do. Um, anyways, once that's done, up to the side here on this cobblestone wall, dark oak wood stair. One stair going forward from this, going back, we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick slabs followed by one, two, three, and four dark oak wood stairs, a spruce wood stair, and then we want to go ahead and take our iron bars, place down one, two, and three iron bars, and then one, two, and three mossy cobblestone walls. Going back to the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down an end rod, and it'll pretty much connect up to the back here, just like that. With that done there, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood slabs, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab, come off the second iron bar to the side, followed by one and two uh, dark oak wood slabs back. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five and six uh, green concrete blocks back followed by one and two dark oak wood top slabs and then a birch wood top slab like this on the end here. For the back section here on top of this we're gonna go ahead and grab our spruce wood stairs dark oak wood stairs we're gonna place down a spruce wood stair on top of this stair and then one and two dark oak wood stairs going forward. And with that all complete that is going to wrap up uh, this layer layer number nine with that let's go ahead and move into our next layer layer number ten. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 10. For layer 10 to begin with, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green concrete block, followed by a row of one and two green concrete blocks back, and then two dark oak wood slabs for your center line there. To both sides of this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down another dark oak wood stair to the side, followed by a stair back, and then another dark oak wood corner stair coming off this stair here. After that stuff, we're going to go ahead and then place down a zombie head on top of this cobblestone wall, and then another zombie head at a slight angle like that on the second. 
With that done, we're going to then place down an item frame on this dark oak corner stair. Black will block in the item frame and a wooden sign over it like so, and that'll be the same thing there on both sides. With that done, we're going to go ahead and then go to our engines here. We're going to place down a row of two of wooden trap doors, one on top of this wooden trap door, and one on top of the cobblestone wall there. We then want to go ahead and place down a nether brick slab on top of this green concrete block, followed by a nether brick top slab. After the nether brick top slab, we're going to place down a wooden sign on both sides of this nether brick top slab, followed by a dark roof with stair after it, like this going back. We then want to place down a stone button, uh, like this, so stone button here, and then we're going to place down a wooden trap door. After the wooden trap door, we're going to place down one, two, and three rails back, followed by a row of two of dark oak wood slabs, and then we want to place down a end rod back like this, and then a wooden trap door uh, over this middle space, like though for the back engines here, so you get something that looks just like that for your engines. With that all finished, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves dark oak wood slabs. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and go to the last three green concrete blocks in this row here, place down three dark oak wood slabs on top of them, followed by one and two green concrete blocks back. We then want to place down a yellow concrete block on top of the birch wood top slab, followed by another two green concrete blocks back like that. After that, we're going to place down one, two, three, four dark oak wood top slabs back. Or sorry, my bad, these are actually going to be uh, one dark oak wood top slab and then three upside down dark oak wood stairs like so like that and then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some banners and we're going to take green banners and on the outside here we're going to place down a row of three of green banners here on the side and um you know that'll pretty much be the outside like that and uh once you have that all complete that is going to do it for layer number 10 with that let's go ahead and move into layer number 11. all right guys so going ahead and moving into our uh last final layers we're actually going to be going ahead and doing layers 11 through uh 13. so for us to go ahead and get started here, one thing I also want to do is put a wooden trap door on the side of this cobblestone wall, as there uh, should be a wooden trap door on the side there, just kind of close it off, make it look nicer. Uh, so just to make sure that's added to both sides. But anyways, going back to this section here, we're going to go ahead and go to this green concrete block after this uh, yellow one. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab. Uh, going back from it, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four green concrete blocks back. With that done, on uh, top of this first concrete block or yeah the first concrete block here to place down a wooden trap door followed by a dark oak wood stair and then one and two green concrete blocks back and then on top of these two green concrete blocks we're going to place down two dark oak wood slabs on top here for the horizontal stabilizer that goes across in between them we're going to grab ourselves dark oak wood stairs and place down one two and three dark oak wood stairs along the side here with a zombie head on both ends so on this end and this end also we then want to go ahead and place down a row of one two and three or sorry, uh, it's just going to be a row of two of dark oak wood slabs and then a spruce wood slab. Our next row to the side, we're going to do a row of one and two dark oak wood top slabs and then one and two spruce wood slabs back. Uh, with that done, we're going to then place down a row of uh, one, two, and three dark oak wood top slabs back, a spruce wood top slab, and then your center row right here is going to be a row of four dark oak wood top slabs. So your tail here, or your horizontal stabilizer, looks something like this going across. And once you have that done, you have the in-flight version of the uh, Valkyra uh, all complete. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty awesome, looks pretty sick, and uh, we're going to go and move down to the landed version. So those of you that want to have this thing landed on the ground, you'll be able to do so. So with that, let's go ahead and move into the landed version of the Warhammer 40k Valkyra. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into doing the landed version of the Valkyra. Now if you went ahead and did it correctly, we should have uh, basically the side ones already positioned down here on the ground. A uh, little fun thing with the build already making our life a little bit easier. Anyways, the main sections we're going to be modifying are obviously the front uh, landing gear here and also the rear one. So for us to go ahead and get started, we're going to be going ahead and working on the front one to begin with. Now for this section here, we're probably going to need to break down into the ground and go down to this level here. We're going to break these iron trap doors. And uh, these stone brick top slabs we're going to go ahead and replace with stone brick upside down stairs. So these are going to be a row of four stone brick upside down stairs here on both sides, just like that. With that done, we're going to go to the second uh, stone brick stair from the last year, placed on a cobblestone wall between them, and these be right there. And then, uh, or, yeah, right there. And then we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair coming off of it forward, followed by an item frame and a polished dance site blocking the item frame there. We can fix our ground here, and we can now go ahead and go to the back section here. Coming off the cobblestone wall back here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, item frame, and polished anti block. 
and then of course fix your ground and we have our uh, front little clamp all set up and ready to go now going ahead and going to the back here we have something a little bit different so we're gonna go ahead and break these uh, stone brick stairs the cobblestone wall and stone brick stairs where the stone brick stairs were we're gonna go ahead and place down cobblestone walls like this we can then break these stone brick top slabs like that and from this point here we're gonna place down a cobblestone wall down at this level here stone brick upside down stair to both sides of it iron frames on the front and uh, the front of the stairs on both sides and then uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves stone brick ups and down stairs and like we did before we're gonna place down a row of four so we have one two three and four ups and down stairs and same thing over here one uh, it's a little bit hard to get to here um, let's see here break this real quick two and I'm just making this way more complicated than it needs to be here uh, but you know as you can see it's a little tricky to kind of get into these spots here uh, and then we have three and then four just like that so uh, once you have that complete you have your rear uh, clamp set up and your side ones are already done and uh, just to go ahead and kind of fix this one up a little bit we can also place down some iron trap doors on top of the uh, stone break or coming off the cobblestone walls like that and uh, once you have that all complete that is going to complete the landed version and in-flight version for the Warhammer 40k Valkyra uh, VTOL uh, Airborne Assault Carrier. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using it, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This may be from a silent build, tweaked my channel, or this video. If this does appear on social media sites, as long as you guys uh, give me credit for it, you're pretty easy for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.